Just after Tuesday's remarkable flights by the Airbus A380 and A350XWB, by the Airbus Group EFAN, and by the A400M from Airbus Defense and Space, the Farnborough International Air Show was the scene for the first commitment from an airline for the new A330neo or new engine offering. AirAsia X and the airline's colorful chief executive, Tony Fernandez, signed for 50 of the newest versions of the A330. Orders continued to come in early Wednesday with Air Mauritius announcing that it is the latest customer for the A350XWB. Airbus also announced partnerships in America with Virginia's Center for Advanced Manufacturing, collaborating on tomorrow's best practices in manufacturing, and with London's Heathrow Airport in a project to continue reductions in aircraft noise around airfields. For a real feel of the Farnborough Air Show, check out the 360-degree self-guided tour available online at Airbus.com. Also, if you've missed any previous day's Airbus Direct broadcasts, they are available on Airbus.com and on the Airbus YouTube channel. Back at the show on Wednesday, Farnborough visitors are looking forward to seeing the aircraft take to the skies again in the flying display. Airbus Direct's coverage of Day 3 at the Farnborough International Air Show starts right now. Top of the afternoon from the United Kingdom. I'm Clay McConnell, and on behalf of my Airbus colleagues from around the world, I'd like to welcome you to day three of the 2014 Farnborough International Air Show. And speaking of my Airbus colleagues, I have three of them with me today. On my right and your left, Antonio De Costa, who will be talking with us about the A380. Mike Bowser, who will be speaking with us on the A350. And Ian Elliott from Airbus Defense and Space, who will provide us some insight into the A400M during the flying display. Be sure to stay with us at the end of the broadcast because we'll have an extensive conversation with Head of Marketing, Chris Emerson, about the Airbus Widebody Strategy. But next, let's get to what you've all come here for, the Airbus Flying Display. Well, airlines are delighted by the A380. It is an extremely reliable aircraft, very efficient, very low fuel burden, which is very important these days with high fuel prices. And above all, it offers a very comfortable ride to all passengers. How many do we have in service now? Well, it's hard to believe, but we already have 135 aircraft in service. As the A380 comes in for a landing, the A350 commences its takeoff roll. The A350 is already gaining a reputation as the hush liner around the world, thanks to those specially developed Rolls-Royce Trent XWB turbo fans. Where are we in the A350 program at this point, Mike? Well, Clay, we're uh, at a very interesting point in the uh, program development right now. We are 80% um, of the way through the flight test period. We've uh, accumulated something like 2,200 hours of uh, flight test over 520 flights so far. I'm very proud to be here to show this airplane off to the general public today. It's an aircraft which offers slightly more payload, slightly uh, greater range capability, um, all the while bringing us this 25% cost benefit per seat. So obviously a, a very big, strong seller for airlines. Looks as if the A380 has cleared the runway. The A400M is taking off as the A350XWB comes in for a landing. We're going to see some stunning aerial flying, some astonishing performance in terms of an aeroplane that can carry huge heavy things and go land on a dirt strip, because that's what the requirement for today's and tomorrow's military customers is in the 21st century. What sets this particular aircraft apart from its competition? This is the only military airlifter that has from set off been designed to do a myriad of different roles. Warfare is an inherently unpredictable activity and we've got to be prepared to be versatile and adaptable. I never tire of watching this display and as an ex-military aviator myself I do concern that that particular maneuver might spill my coffee. Another great flying display of the Airbus A380, A350XWB and A400M. And speaking of displays, we invite you to take a tour of our stand here at the Farnborough Air Show virtually on Airbus.com. You should really click on it. You can maneuver around the stand, and if you don't have the opportunity to come out to the show, it makes you feel as if you are at the show. 
And for those who are at the show, the nice thing about it is the stand is not crowded by people because it's proven to be extraordinarily popular here at the Farnborough International Air Show in 2014. I'd like to thank my colleagues Ian, Mike, and Antonio for their help today. Hope to have you back on Airbus Direct at some point in the not too distant future. I'd like to remind you also that you should stay on top of all of the Farnborough news at Airbus.com and also on all of our social media channels, Facebook, Twitter, Vine, Instagram, YouTube, and LinkedIn. We have so many now, it's hard to remember them all. Be sure to stay tuned because we have a chat with Airbus Head of Marketing, Chris Emerson, about the Airbus Wide Body Strategy. So we'll move to that now. Thanks for joining us for the flying display. Be sure to come back tomorrow for something completely different, something new every day. On behalf of all of my colleagues at Airbus, goodbye from the Farnborough International Air Show. With the launch of the A330neo, we will continue the success of the wide body family that we've already enjoyed since the launch of the A350XWB. This is clearly matching what we see the market requirements are today and in the future. Today, over the next 20 years, there's an open demand of about 4,000 aircraft that, can, uh, that will require what the A330neo can offer. With the performance improvements that we are offering, we should easily see over 1,000 uh, orders on, for this aircraft. The A330neo complements very well the A350XWB family. The A350XWB offers more payload and more range at the lowest economics, while the A330neo is offering less payload, less range, but with that str same strong economics. With the first delivery of the A350 occurring at the end of this year, we see continuing momentum in the marketplace for this product. The unique feature of the A380 is the fact that it has two floors and the widest cross-section on the main deck. It's not just for a volume of passengers, but it's to enable the airlines to have the ability to segment their cabin so that they can offer the most product to meet the market need. What do I mean by most product? I mean that if you're a passenger who has a specific price range for what you want to pay and the, the type of seat quality service that you want, on a 380 you can offer that without losing the volume, without losing capacity. So in a four class configuration with the premium economy, which we see today as really taking the trend, you can still carry over 500 passengers in one departure on a 380 versus something like 250 in a four-class configuration in the next largest aircraft. As airlines emphasize product maximization, the A380 is the product of choice. The future of the Airbus wide-body product line is so bright that I've got to wear shades today.